The new coronavirus is a zoonotic virus, which basically means it's a disease that spreads from one species to another. So which species is the culprit? Our best guess would suggest that it came from wild or domestic animals that were being kept at the Wuhan food market, including the civic cat. Now the civic cat is in fact the animal from which the SARS coronavirus emerged from several years ago. This coronavirus is one we've never seen before. So how is a new zoonotic virus born? It's rare, but it's when a single animal is infected with two related viruses. Let's take the 1918 Spanish flu, for example. Some experts believe it was started when a bird, which had bird flu, and a human who had the common seasonal flu, met the same pig. Now those two viruses couldn't infect each other, but they were both able to infect the pig. What then happened was those two strands of the virus combined in the pig and created a new version of the flu, H1N1. The pig was then able to infect the human with the new mutation of the virus, but because there were elements of the animal virus, the human's immune system wasn't able to defend itself. Experts predict that we'll see more viruses evolving in the future. So where are the new diseases likely to emerge? Very broadly, for example, in urban environments where we as humans have created very densely packed human populations, where alongside us there are bats and rodents and birds and pets and other, other things living with us, that creates very intense interaction and opportunities for things to move from species to species. But there are other such environments. Uh, often created as part of our economy or, or the way that we live. So, for example, slaughterhouses where individuals who work there are in intense contact, not just with animals, but with the different parts of the insides of animals. Uh, or wet markets, similarly, where animals are sold, cut up, cleaned, and where there are a lot of people interacting uh, interacting with those uh, with that, those individuals. How do you combat new viruses like this? The most important thing in terms of combating new viruses is preparedness, being prepared, doing in those places more routine, regular surveillance to try and detect these events early on. It's very difficult to develop a, a, a vaccine or a drug for something that we don't know about. So we always have to start the development process after those events have occurred. Typically, it takes between four to five years to develop a vaccine for a new virus. There are several groups currently working on a vaccine for the new coronavirus, but there's no guarantee that it'll be ready before the end of the current outbreak.